In this video clip, I'm going to create a few cylinders. I am going to use the eraser tool and erase palette. So to begin our cylinder, we're going to look at the rectangle menu and pick up the circle tool. Now, one thing to notice about the circle tool is it is not really a circle. It is a 24 sided polygon. So you can change the number of sides in that window down there. So if I put my center at the origin, and I believe this is going to be happen before I do anything. If I type 36 in there, now I have 36 sides. I've gone up to, I think in the 90s, I'm not sure why I only went that high, but I have gone up closer to 100. And I'll show you why it makes a difference. So I'm going to go back down to 20, oops, not 3,024. Let's just do 24. Now I'm going to drag out along the either one. I mean, it doesn't matter what axis I use. But what I want to do is look at the radius. So I want to go out, let's go out 1.5 meters. So I'm going to do 1.5 M. Now it's snapping to 1.5 meters. And I'm going to change my, okay, we'll just leave that alone. So let's pan up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And let's orbit a little bit so we can see what's going on. So what I want to point out to you guys is that we have segments here. It's, it's not a circle. We have segments. So if I click, I'm going to get the whole thing, but I do have little vertices there. Okay, so let's click off of that and zoom back out. Let's go ahead and use our views that we learned about in the last menu, last video. Sorry, I see the wrong word a lot of the time, this guy. So this is my life. I can't keep making new videos, so I apologize. So we have a nice perspective here. I'm going to use the push-pull tool, and I'm going to pull up out of the plane, and now we have a cylinder. So while we are here on our cylinder, I'm going to group all of the surfaces, the sides and the bottoms. So I'm going to make a group. And now what I can do is I can move this around. So let's go to the move menu or move tool. We could move this around. So this is kind of cool. I can't paint this now because it said it's grouped. So I would have to ungroup it if I want to paint my cylinder. Um, there's one more thing I want to show you here. Let me pause and think for a minute. So once you have your group and you have a solid and there's nothing inside this model, it's totally clean on the inside. If you go over to your Entity info, you'll see that you have a solid and you can see the volume is 10.2 meters cubed. Now, if the volume doesn't show up, that means that it's not a what I would call a clean uh, 3D model. There's something on the inside that's junking it up so you're not getting your uh, volume. But I again, I think this is a really cool feature because your students can check their work. So I use it as a checking tool. So we're good. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so we have a scale tool here, right here. We have a scale tool. So let's go ahead and select our cylinder. And I'm going to use the scale tool. You notice that we have all these points. I'm going to forget what I call them. So if I drag opposite diagonals, it's going to give me a uniform scale. And if you look at the bottom right corner, you can see the scale factor. If I want to shrink in one dimension, I can make sure I have the right... I can't remember what to call those. And make sure you have the right little points here that you want to use to control. Look at that, makes a nice oval. So this is your scale tool. So I think that's pretty cool and it, this is a good opportunity for me to show this to you. So we'll stop now. Thanks for watching.